First of all, and now, I have a letter from Mr. What a sweet little wrapped fluffy. Yes, I think I'll accept his proposal. Let's just skip the small talk in the engagement ring. I have no time to waste. Did you bring the wedding rings? I have the wedding rings with me, my queen. What are you standing there for? Find us a priest to perform our wedding ceremony. Actually, I think I've already done more than enough. It's an order! We're having the ceremony over at the meteor at the Roswell Lake. What a romantic place. Now go. I have to get ready. Listen, son of God, since you're one of the creator's superstars, I was wondering if you could preside over the wedding of a friend of mine. Well, actually, I'm the owner of that massive <laughs> franchise of chapels, churches, and cathedrals. Who better than me, right? I'm just a little too drunk. I could use a very small bit of help, but not from above, because if my father sees me in this condition, I'll have to wait millennia for the next coming. A uh, short review on... I now pronounce you happily ever after. Now you can kiss the bride, but discreetly. That kind of thing. Could this help? Oh, just what I needed. We'll see you at the wedding then. But you don't even know where the wedding is. Brother, I may be wasted, but I'm still omniscient after all. See you later. <laughs> By the power vested in me by my father, I now pronounce you man and wife. And now, come back home to update your relationship status on Facebook. Days, six hours. You didn't think for a moment that someone might hear the bang of the explosion and call the police? Twenty eight days, six hours, forty two minutes, twelve seconds. That is when the world will end. I'm 
here. Come, come closer. Thirty seconds should be enough. Maybe I overdid it with the gunpowder. Why the sad face? Everyone my own age has bouncy and long hair. What about me? I practically lost mine. Losing your hair in the 80s is just about the worst thing that could happen. Express Courier, 24 hours, 7 days a week, 00-8458901. All packages must be impact proof, water repellent, and the contents must be clearly indicated outside the box. Before you put in the coins, you should pick up the receiver. Hello, Hippie Express Courier. How can I help you? Good evening. I'd like to arrange the delivery of a casket to number 13 Friday Avenue. Expenditures are charged to the consignee. Are you aware of the packaging regulations of our service? Tell me. To avoid damage during transportation, we ask you to wrap the object with a material that can soften impact. Usually it's plastic or bubble wrap, but you can use any solution you prefer. Yes, that's no problem. We also ask that the outer casing of the package is absolutely water resistant. It might seem a strange demand, but in the past, our drivers have shown a certain fondness for water courses in this area. I'm equipped for that too. And finally, it is necessary to identify the package with a written note clearly indicating its contents. Yes, Alex. I have the solution. 
Sorry, I don't think I heard correctly. Oh, I, I mean, no problem. I'll authorize a courier for your delivery. Thanks for calling us. Goodbye. I'm waiting for a courier to take the wardrobe away. Could you maybe pack me inside using this kit? I have to create a nice prank. Dude, I'm always ready to help out with these kind of things. I wish I could see his face. I can't imagine what a fright he will have. Neither can I. Believe me. Ronald? Ronald, wake up! Ronald, it's me, Skinny. Do you really not recognize me? Remember? Me and you were going to conquer the world. We kept on saying that we were meant to do great things. Well, in a way, I, I guess that happened, but nobody could have imagined all this. You couldn't know about my allergy. Even I wasn't aware of it. Ultimately, there are a lot of perks to being dead. I have an infinite amount of free time, and I can eat everything I want without being worried about my weight. I'm even immune to electricity. Like I'm a superhero. I'm sorry you suffered so much. I know how tough things have been for you since that day. You have nothing to blame yourself for, believe me. I have nothing to blame you for. I couldn't breathe. I just heard you screaming. It wasn't difficult to understand what was going on. But, incredibly, that was the last thing I remember. No light to follow. No extracorporeal experience. Just a big nothing. Disappointing, don't you think? When I finally woke up, all was dark. It took me a while to realize I was in a wardrobe. In this wardrobe. I know, it's really absurd, but it's the truth. I've been brought back to life and now I'm a skeleton. You have to go back to talking. If you don't tell somebody about what happened that day, you'll end up being damned for eternity. That's why I'm here. Because I love you, Ronald. Skinny. Skinny, wait! Don't go! really died. Ah, yes. I almost forgot. You're 